Hi, my name is Amanda. This is Evan. When we first brought him home from the hospital, he was a very healthy newborn. We started within the first week noticing that he was very cranky, fussy. He had projectile vomiting. We would bring him to the pediatrician who had told us that he had colic and it was normal and we were just worried first time parents. We, um, for weeks that went on and eventually we were given a bath one night and noticed his stomach became distended and his belly button popped out and we went back to the pediatrician. It was a Thursday and we're told that he had an umbilical hernia, which he had at birth, which he did not. We knew he did not. But being first time parents, we trusted the pediatrician and went home. Sunday, he became super fussy. We couldn't get him to settle. And then the next day he completely refused all food, would not eat anything. If you lightly brush his stomach like this, he would scream in pain. We contacted the pediatrician's office and at that point we're told that he would call us back. Hours later went by and um, we called back again and told that he couldn't talk to us. And we said that we were bringing him to the ER and the person on the phone told us that if we felt that was necessary. So we hung up and we brought him to the ER. When we got there, they did test on him and realized he had ascites, which is fluid in the abdomen and his blood sugar was only 23. They were shot, surprised that he was responding to us. We were then transferred to a trauma hospital who told us that he had liver failure and his blood was not clotting. And they received his newborn screening and they said, you know, everything showed up fine. He was negative on all his tests and they couldn't figure it out. So he was only a couple days away from dying and they couldn't figure it out. So they had sent us to Children's Hospital of Philadelphia and we got there and the doctor within 18 hours says, I know what this is. I can't talk to you at this point because it was Thanksgiving Eve and we needed the medication. And she had to get on the phone right away. So she told us that she would be back to let us know what was going on. And while all this was going on, you know, we were just worried, wondering what was going on, if it was something that could be fixed. He was such bad condition. We didn't know what was going to happen. He was in liver failure. His kidney and spleen were enlarged. His blood wasn't clotting. We weren't allowed to feed him for 56 hours. And she came back and told us that he has tyrosinemia type 1. And it was tested on newborn screening, but New Jersey failed us. And they only test blood, which did not catch it. We, the more expensive urine test would have caught this and he would have you know, had treatment earlier and would not have to have gone through liver failure or anything he's gone through. But through all of this, as you could see, he's big, he's doing great now, he's on treatment, everything's going well. And that's pretty much, we have another baby, it was one in four chance, she doesn't have it, but Evan's rare and special to us and everything's going great. Say hi, Evan. Hi. <laughs>